Germans were very humble people. They came from Kitla, mm -hmm. and my father's family were farmers. Mm -hmm. And uh, after he had six children, he decided that uh, he needed to make some more income. So he immigrated to Bombay and took all of them. And I was the seventh one born in Bombay. Mary D'Souza was born to Daigo and Milagrena D'Souza on the 18th of July, 1933. She was born in the queen of the suburbs of Bombay, Bandra. To those who do not know who Mary D'Souza is, she is one amongst the first Indian women to represent India in the 1952 Helsinki Olympics. A task that is maybe small now, but at that time to a woman, especially of Indian origin, it was considered impossible. By now, we know Mary D'Souza as an Olympian, the recent recipient of the Dhyan Chand Award. India's highest award for lifetime achievement in sports. But what about Mary, the athlete, the Olympian, the hockey player, the wife, student, the mother, and more importantly, the woman? This is her beginning. Mary, the seventh of 12 siblings, was born in a family where sports was a dominating factor. Mary, along with her sisters, were educated at St. Joseph's Convent, Pandra, where she took active part in sports. Mary grew up a bit more sportive than most girls her age, or in the words of her very own father, a little tomboyish. In fact, my, I'm sorry to say, but my father was not very happy about me running around like a tomboy used to say. He says, you're a lady, you should be in the house helping your mother, mother with the housework and cooking, you know, not running like a tomboy and playing with all the boys. Owing this to the fact that she used to hang around a lot with boys of her age, which brought out her passion for sports. I was uh, schooling in St. Joseph's Convent. Okay. And that convent didn't have big grounds. They just had a... St. Joseph's in Mumbai? In Bandra. Bandra. St. Joseph's Convent. So they were not into sports or anything. But uh, they had only a basketball. At that time they never used to play basketball. They used to play netball in school. Oh. Not basketball. At least basketball we had to play. We could have had a uh, mobile, you know, outside against other teams and this. But netball and only convents played, I think, at that time. So we, we only had a netball ground. And we never had yearly sports also, because, but one year we had sports. My sister was in the seniors and I was in the juniors. And what, marble and spoon race, uh, jungle shoes. And it so happened, uh, each uh, uh, section like had two or three, two, two games. Like from the third and fourth, two games, fifth and sixth, two games, sixth and seventh, like that. So, she had some stupid thing like that, and I also had some, I can't remember, I think one was jungle shoes, one was marble and spoon, or then we had to touch the wall and run back, sort of thing. There was not enough space to, not even 50 meters, you know? So, anyway, I won two of the silly games, what she was, I don't know, and she won two. So we were known in school as senior champs, junior champ. She was excellent at sport, and uh, she took part in all our, we used to have a, an annual uh, uh, sport meet. So she used to be first in everything. She could she be there. She, no one could beat her. She yeah. was the best. She was the best. Then one, one D'Souza started a hockey team. And they were short of girls to come and play. Those days there were not many girls playing. You know. So they said, let's call the champs. <laughs> so from where to where? Now we, we never, I never ran 
en skole og andet ting. Der tænker jeg til, vi, vi er nogen sportsmedicine. Så de sagde, let's go. Så de kom til mit hus. Og de sagde, vi er, vi er shorter players. Kan vi vil alle komme? Vi sagde, vi er not holistic. Don't worry, you come not to the ground, we'll teach you. So that's all. And within a week, they put, uh, put us to play. Now you can imagine what you can learn in a week's time with, when you're hockey. We, we didn't know how to hit the ball properly, dribble is out of the question. So all, so what we did, they put me away. So I, I paralyzed both the, the left wing and the half. As soon as I got the ball, bang, I had to go hit the ball from them. And that was my first experience, first match of my career. And my sister was put back. So we, we, that's how we started. Then we used to go once a week. Saturday was a school day off. So we used to go and play. And then I picked up hockey. But I didn't, I didn't know I could run. But I was on the wing. So I was... I should run and somehow get that ball. So everyone thought, you know, you seem to run quite fast. Why didn't you take part in athletics? So I don't know what athletics was at that time. You know, like I was more like a country girl. I didn't, I was uh, staying in Bombay. I, uh, we were like uh, in the convent, in convent training. Uh, we didn't have, uh, you know, any, any exposure. The St. Joseph's convent did not have a ground, so Mary would jump over the wall of St. Andrew's, the boys' school, which was next door. Here, she trained tirelessly for hours, and all her effort did not go in vain. As things changed quickly, Mary participated in Asian Games at national level, where her talent did not go unnoticed. The inaugural of the first edition of Asian Games were hosted by India in New Delhi, where Mary won bronze in the 4 in 100 meters relay. Because of this incredible feat, she got the golden opportunity to represent India at the 1952 Helsinki Olympics. At Helsinki, Mary, who competed in the sprints, and Nilima Ghosh, who competed in hurdles, were one amongst the first Indian women Olympians. They may have not broken or set any records, but they were the trendsetters for all Indian sportswomen. This was the first time that India sent four women athletes at the quadrennial event, hence making Mary one of India's first women Olympians to participate in athletics. A few years later, Mary became the fastest athlete in India and thus making her a regular feature in newspapers after the national and Asian Games. The women's athletic team at Helsinki Olympics in 1952 had no coach. In spite of that, Mary gave it her best shot. Mary's achievements and records have all happened on her own merit. She was also selected to represent India at the Melbourne Olympics in 1956, but was unable to go due to lack of funds. At the 1954 Asian Games in Manila, Mary teamed up with Christine Brown, Steffi D'Souza and Violet Peters and won the first gold medal for women in 4 into 100 meter relay, clocking 49.5 seconds. She also broke a national record of 12.3 seconds in 1954, making her the fastest Asian runner. She was the Indian record holder from 1950 to 1957 in 100 meter, 200 meter, and 80 meter hurdles. As a hockey player, Mary represented India in the World Cups in London in 1953 and in Australia in 1956, playing at the national level from 1950 to 1957. She never had a coach except for the hockey legend Major Dhyan Chand, who trained the Indian hockey team in 1953. She captained the railway women's hockey team at the nationals 
from 1965 to 1967. We all had great respect for her and we loved her also and she was a very good coach also for her. She in fact taught us the beginning of, we didn't know anything about hockey but she taught us from the, we started from the, at the beginning, the Olympic, uh, the railways employed her and then um, they started this team. We were all raw. We, had, we were not even young at that time, not more than 20, more than 25 also. And then uh, we joined them. Yeah, it was not very long. We started, uh, it may have been about five to eight years that she taught us. Five to eight years? Uh, yeah, maybe less. I am not very sure. Okay. I can't, but we started late. And then uh, uh, we joined when we were, what to say, raw and then started and then we played a few games but we were weak, All our, our team was really weak because most of us joined when we didn't know anything about the hockey game. We could run, we were athletes and all that but we didn't know hockey so much but she coached us and then we played our first game at uh, one Kerry's at the okay, yeah, 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 yeah. ground was not as it is now. It was a small ground, and uh, we played the Wildcats. But they hopelessly, we hopelessly lost because we were not good. But we tried. She was bestowed with a certificate and memento by the Goa government in 1988 for a great performance and achievements in sports. She also represented India in the 1957 Sri Lanka track meet. Besides, playing hockey for India versus Japan in 1962. Soon after the Olympics, she was offered a job at the Central Railways in Mumbai, where she branched out her career by coaching the men's hockey team. And then she was promoted to the rank of a sports officer. Yeah, great. Because um, I know it's not what it is today, the facilities that our athletes get today, the encouragement that they get, the medicines that are provided, the proteins that are given to them, we had nothing then. I'm sure she, uh, even 24 years before me, would have had nothing then because I know 30 years earlier we didn't get anything at the camps, water provided. It's just the dedication and the sincerity and the determination that would have taken her on to represent India then. Because no, I'm sure nothing, like even the training facilities, I don't think would have been what it is today. As this is our athletic meet is going to start now recently, so the students. Athletic meet, inter-school athletic meet. Inter-school. Inter yeah. yeah, when, when I made announcement, they said, sir, we are all interested now. There are so many students that I have to take the selection. I have to see, see which, which are the best ones. Okay. So that's why I called them over here. Okay. Because I saw them starting here. Yeah, starting now. <laughs> <laughs> After yeah, training. Because they see people yeah, yeah, yeah. kneeling down there, kneeling yeah. down. And they take so long to get so up. To get up yeah. <laughs> are, uh, the problem is that we do not have the ground. Yeah, that's So you have to come everywhere. over here. But uh, those who have been selected, they will be told how to go, then how to start, how to go, how to throw. Okay. This is just a random uh, selection. So the selection will be... Yeah.